Hello friends and welcome to this devotion. Uh, we're going through a series of devotions from last Sunday morning sermon uh, called They Devoted Themselves. That's the series we're going through and Sunday was about they devoted themselves to prayer. And we're looking at the concept that the first church devoted themselves to prayer and it was precisely their devotion to specific things that built into them a world-changing force that they became a few years later when great persecution hit the church. And this was the bedrock and the foundation of their devotion that, that changed the world. And some 30 years later, after that event, Paul continues the encouragement of this devotion to prayers when he writes to the Colossians in Colossians 4 verse 2, and he says, Devote yourself to prayer, being watchful and thankful, and pray for us too, that God may open a door for our message so that we may proclaim the mystery of Christ, for which I'm in change. Pray that I may proclaim it clearly as I should. Today we're going to look at praying, uh, devoting ourselves to prayer, and today we're looking at praying for our spouses. And if you don't have a spouse but want one, you can pray for them. If you, if you know that you're called to a single lifestyle, pray for a marriage uh, somewhere near you, somebody that you love and care for. Ephesians 5.31 says, For this reason a man will leave his father and mother, be united to his wife. These two shall become one flesh. This is a profound mystery. But I'm talking about Jesus and the church. However, each one of you must love his wife as he loves himself, and the wife must respect her husband. Paul brings out this profound mystery between a man and a woman. When they fall in love, there's a uniqueness and a bond that must happen between them. And when it happens in line with the Word of God, when we do what the Scripture tells us to do, it's a beautiful representation of how Jesus is with the church. And so there are so many things that we can live out and so many things that we ought to pray for our spouses. But perhaps the best practice of all is just to spend a few minutes presenting your spouse to the Lord and asking Him how He sees them and what He's doing right now in their lives, just to listen to His voice. And when we have a sense of the answers to those two questions, our prayer times become rich and interesting and, and very rewarding. And so I, I just want to dare you to come to the Lord and say, Lord, could you just tell me how you see my spouse and, and what are you doing with them right now? And then join the Lord in prayer for those two things. Pray about their identity. Pray about that they hear the Lord's voice and that uh, His plan be made manifest in their lives. Pray for things that they may be struggling with or, or stand behind them as a shield. Guard them with your prayers. Set up a protection around them. Uh, and where they have a weakness or a lack of confidence, pray for them. And, uh, and just stand behind them as somebody who shields them. Pray for their ministry, for release for them and for their strengths to be made manifest and known and, and for a beautiful humility and, and a marvelous strength to flow out of them. There are th some things that we all know we're supposed to pray for. Jesus taught us this. Pray for daily provision for them. Uh, pray that Jesus be exalted and glorified in them and hallowed in their lives. Pray that they be protected and led away from temptation. Pray that He delivers them from evil. These are all things that are basic that Jesus taught. But just taking a few minutes to pray for your spouse can make a massive difference to them as the Lord answers your prayers, but also as while you're praying, He helps change your perspective of them. Now, this is one of the things I'd like to recommend to you. After you've spent some time praying for your spouse, you may want to take a little time and tell them what you believe the Lord had asked you to pray for. Because it'll be both an encouragement to them, but it'll give you and your spouse an ability to be watchful. Because the scripture says, be watchful as well as praying. Devoted to prayer, being watchful and thankful. And so part of this is watching. This is what I feel like the Lord said we're praying for. Now we watch. And when He answers, that uh, we, we're quick to acknowledge and celebrate the answers to what God has given us to pray. Part of our responsibility as a spouse is to see that our spouse is launched into all the call of God on their lives. And being devoted to prayer is a major part of fulfilling that responsibility towards them. Take some time today. Pray God's blessing and favor and smile and manifested goodness into the life of your spouse. It's been so great to see many of you at church. We're so looking forward to seeing more of you. Sign up and join us. We love to be together. In Jesus' name, we miss you, praying for you every day. God bless.